Oh, let's get ready to rumble! In this corner, we've got Edward Newgate, the strongest man in the world. And in this corner, we've got, well, not on this poster, but we've got Gold Roger, King of the Pirates. And he is going to face off against his frenemy, Whitebeard, for the epic clash of the century. And, okay, I'll stop talking like a pirate. But uh, before we get into this new chapter... Let's go look back at this year that we've had, 2019, because this is going to be, it's probably going to be the last chapter of the year, so uh, yeah, just let's do a little recap here of what we've had. Okay, the first chapter that we got this year was introducing us, well, we get to see Orochi for the first time, and so that was, you know, that was just the start of the year. We finally get to see the, one well, of the main villains of this arc, and uh... Right after that, one of my personal favorite moments is uh, Soba Mask. Uh, so, you know, that was, you know, amaz the amazing uh, raid suit of Sanji, which I, I was opposed to him having a raid suit, but when, it, when I found out what the ability is, it completely changed my mind on Sanji's raid suit. So that was an amazing chapter. And I want to see more of Page One. I don't know what happened to Page One. He's, he was really cool. But we'll, we'll probably see him in the final battle. Uh, what else? We got we have the the whole thing with Komarasaki dying, and you know, we get we get, then we get to meet Hiori, find out she's still alive. Um, we get to meet Queen, <laughs> the one and only Queen, who we'll definitely see more of. The amazing portly Brachiosaurus himself. And we get, oh, we find out, oh, Hyogoro is a badass, the little old man Hyo. And we get, you know, he teaches Luffy this new, uh, he does the Yoda training to teach Luffy this new uh, hockey technique that, that, that will help him fight Kaido. And we learn, we learn about the Shimotsuki clan. And, of course, we have the death of Yasu. Rest in peace, Yasu. You're a great guy. Yasue Shimotsuki. Then we, of course, we meet. Oh, we have the battle between um, Big Mom and Queen, which was amazing. Brachio Bomber. Um, then we we meet Kawamatsu the Kappa. So yeah, uh, Zoro gets Enma. That was huge. That was a huge thing. And of course, we have Chapter Nine Fifty Six and Nine Fifty Seven, which were. A just d world destroying, like crazy chapters. We learned the the Shichibukai are abolished, and we find out about the Rocks Pirates. It's just, like it, oh my god, this year is just <laughs> this is 2019 was quite the year of One Piece. Now of course we're in the flashback of uh, Kozuki Oden, the one and only. So yeah, so in the final chapter of the year. Roger versus Whitebeard. Oh, sorry, not versus. I, we'll see what happens. It's Roger and Whitebeard. So, yes. That is quite the chapter to end on. Chapter 966. So, let's get into it. This will be probably my Pirate Style Jutsu final live reaction for One Piece. Chapter 966. So, the cover page. Oh boy, they found her. <laughs> We're already starting off crazy. We're already starting off. We found her. Found Lola. There she is, getting her hair done. Wait. Oh, wait. This is Shifon. Sorry. Shifon is caught by pirates <laughs> while getting a haircut. False alarm. False alarm, not Lola. Sorry, they're twins, so, you know, it's confusing. Okay, so Shifon... Wait, she's captured by, caught by pirates? Is this like a typo? Because this, this guy look, kind of looks like Rosinante. This Oh no, I thought he was wearing a... No, he is wearing a marine hat. These, these, are, these are marines. Like He's wearing a marine hat. This guy's a marine tattoo. That chick's a marine in the background. So yeah, it looks these are marines. I don't know. It says she fought caught by pirates while getting a haircut, but no, these are definitely marines. So come on, kiss manga. You gotta get your translations together. <laughs> but uh, 
All right, so then we're back into the... So, yeah, well, before that, so, yeah, that's interesting that Chiffon is captured, so obviously her husband's going to have to save her, but, yeah, we'll see where that goes. But here is uh, back into flashback land, and uh, finally Roger. That's what the, the little uh, the narration, I guess, says. Here, here he comes, the samurai. Uh, the one we heard about. Wait, Commander Odin. Of course, Odin just rushes in. All I have to do is take their treasure, right? Dealing with them won't be easy. The Roger Pirates are on a different level than the enemies we faced before. Didn't you see all those fish and animals going crazy in the last chapter? <laughs> like, you ever see that shit before? Ni Toriyu Odin. Gan Modoki. Oh, damn. Odin's going in hard on some on the Roger Pirates here. There's some random Roger Pirates. We don't know who they are. He's doing his two-sword style. Gan Modoki. Uh, the, uh, in kanji is written, Weapon of the Hesitant Demon. In here, Gana, it's Gan Modoki, a type of fried tofu. Okay, so that fits Odin's whole motif, of course. So, yeah, he's, he cut through some pirates pretty easy. Gah! The rumors are true. He's incredibly strong. Woo! 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 This panel right here. Oh my god! Oh, this panel right here with Rayleigh and Scopper Gabon. They look so badass. Oh my god. Fuck. They're like stanced up. He's got his axes. He's got, so I guess Scopper uses axes, which is awesome. He looks so fucking cool. God, he looks badass. I'm sorry. This one pan. Rayleigh's pulling his sword out, just like, come on, let's go. <laughs> oh my god. It's like a sound effect coming off of Scopper. Like, I can't, I don't know what that is. It's like, it, looks, it might be coming off of his axes, I guess. I don't know. So, Scott, oh my god, Scott, I can't get over <laughs> I can't get over how badass Scopper Gabot looks. But, um, should we cut him to pieces, Rayleigh? Fine by me. <laughs> Wait, Gabon, really? Oh my god. So, I guess maybe Gabon was like um, kind of the second mate, because Rayleigh was the first mate. So maybe like the third strongest in the crew was Scott and Gabon. God, they look cool. <laughs> it's Roger. <laughs> Roger's running like... <laughs> I've never seen this side of Roger. He's very acting very Luffy-like. <laughs> I wouldn't want my, want my two best men to get hurt. <laughs> you just want to face him yourself. The aura of a wild beast. Hey, Samurai! <gasps> We're, fi <laughs> We're finally going to see Roger fight. It's been over 20 years. And we've all wanted to know what Roger could do. He's pulling out a sword and he's about to fight Odin. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Roger's pulling out his sword, just charging right in for Odin. It's a huge, this is a huge slash. Is this Kamus Sari, aversion to divinity? This is Roger's attack. Just a straight, he does the straight up sword slash, but it's like it's there's like hockey bursting out of it. It's like a it's like a Zoro move where he's like slashing the air and Odin's just like taking it, just like getting blown back. This is the first named attack we have from Gold D Roger. Kamusari, aversion to divinity. And it's a, so he was a swordsman, as as a lot of people figured. He's a swordsman and he used hockey out the yin yang. <laughs> Which is, you know, this is that's something we could have get we definitely uh could have guessed, but still, to see Roger actually going in with an attack and actually having a named attack. Roger has a named attack. It's been over 20 years. We never got this from him. So Odin, oh man, Odin took it hard too. He's like coughing up blood. He got blown back. The trees behind him are getting blown back by this one slash. I've never seen Odin look like that, like take something that hard. He he did not he did not block that. He took it. 
he is flying back. So he's slammed into a tree way in the background. And he, go, he's, he just comes running straight back. What the hell was that? Incredible. Oh, shit. Here we go. Whitebeard and Roger about to cross blades. There's like... There's like... There's like thick. Thick... We've seen black lightning like coming off of... Like that symbolizes like hockey. Either Conker's hockey or Arm and hockey. But we've seen the hockey lightning. But off of Roger's sword and Whitebeard's uh, bicento, it's like thick. It's like a thick like arc of lightning. Like thick black lightning coming off the like that's some thick <laughs> some thick hockey right there holy shit oh my god look at this panel <laughs> and both their blades are blo dude Roger's sword kind of looks like shoe sweet a little bit like it's like a the blade and white beards they're both their blades are black both their blades are black right now and there's just hockey lightning just bursting off of it like this is like a crazy like this is gonna like split the sky like a like like we've seen when Yonkos clash. This might split the ground too. Holy shit! Oh my god, White Bear looks so awesome too. We're actually seeing Roger. I can't believe we're actually seeing Roger fight. We're actually seeing Roger fight. Roger and White Beard fight. They aren't even touching. <laughs> Blades aren't even touching. That's what someone says. The blade, and they're not. They're not touching. It's just the hot. This is like this apex of like concentrated hockey is just right between their blades, but their blades aren't actually touching. And the hockey is just an explosion, blowing everyone back. Whitebeard's. I don't even. Th Whitebeard's not using a dofer. It's just hockey. And he's smiling. Roger's smiling. Oh my god, dude. It's oh. The whole island, the pressure of their class is like encompassing the whole island. It's like a sphere. Holy sh! And it's just hockey energy just crackling all over the place. The Moby Dick is about to like capsize and shit. It's like a nuclear bomb. It's like a nuclear explosion. Our ship. They're just, I just love Whitebeard and Roger. They're both smiling, man. They're just they're loving this. Good luck. Good. Go. Uh, you look good. Roger, how many years has it been, Newgate? And they both say, give me everything you have. <laughs> Ooh, ha, ha, ha. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. That's Roger's laugh. That's Goldie Roger. We have his laugh, his laugh style. Ooh, ooh, ha, 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 ha. We're, so we're getting so Oda's like, all right, this is the last chapter of the year. I'm gonna give you. Why don't I just give you everything about Roger? Pretty much, like <laughs> we've got his fighting style, his laughter style. Oh my God! Wiper pirates are juiced. Come on, men! They just charging into battle. Marco's like flaming and like he's like Marco. He's not in phase form at all. It's just his fire, and he's like levitating like. God, that is cool. Here, the Roger Pirates are going to meet the challenge. Loot them! So here we see, yeah, we see. <laughs> I can't get over Scott and Gabbana in this chapter, man. He's still, like, he's so cool looking. He's got his two axes. And he, oh, man, he's so cool. So the Roger Pirates are getting ready. We don't know most of these people. But we know Rayleigh, we know Scott and Gabon. And this other guy, who kind of reminds me of a guy on Shanks' crew. He has, he's a swordsman, and he has, like, his, his hair comes up in, like, an alfalfa point thing. We have, the, is that a woman? No, I think that's a guy who has, like, a rifle. He has, like, a piratey hat. Uh, there's a big, muscly guy in the background. There's a dude with spiky hair, like, jumping up above Scopper Gabon. We got this other guy. Looks like he's got spiky knuckles. So, yeah. So, here, we're getting it. Uh, there's no way, yeah, there's no way we're going to see much of this. We're not going to really see this fight. <laughs> the Roger Pirates versus the White Bear Pirate. Okay, the Oda box says the Roger Pirates versus the White Bear Pirate. Okay. 
The battle between these two great crews lasted three days and nights, with the upper hand constantly shifting from side to side. Okay, so the Whitebeard Pirates in their prime were on the same level, basically, as the Roger Pirates. So, yeah, that's four days later. Okay, so, yeah, we don't get to... We don't get to see it. Hopefully the anime will show us a little more, but yeah, I figured we wouldn't see it. But oh, and the sky above the island is swirling like crazy. It's just like storm clouds just swirling. But uh, anyway, we cut to four days later, <laughs> and they're having a banquet, a pirate banquet. And they so the pirate crews have made up. They, had, they just had a little, you know, three-day battle. By One Piece standards, that's actually not that long. Like, White, oh, Ace and Jinbei fought for like five days. Akainu and Akiji fought for ten days. So, you know, three days, not that, you know, not that crazy. Not the, Just a little three-day battle. But after that, they're all friends. <clears throat> what, an out, <clears throat> what an outrageous shirt. Sorry, I'm kind of getting over cold. What an outrageous shirt. Where'd you get it? Wait a minute, uh, you're drinking too much. We agreed everyone would have the same amount. So they're like two big guys toasting. So there's a lot of treasure. I don't know where this treasure's coming from, but I guess it was on this island, but there's, yeah, they got a lot of treasure. Um, uh, this southern sake is too good. I'll give you three crates for it. Uh, the Rayleigh says, this has just become a gift exchange. <laughs> oh, it's like Christmas. Yeah, Christmas is next week. So, yeah, I guess this is the little gift exchange between the Roger Pirates and the Whitebeard Pirates. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, there's a little Blackbeard teach. Uh, the boys, uh, are the boys over there apprentices? Uh-oh. <laughs> Marco says, yeah, they've been there for a while. <laughs> it's just Marco, young Marco, young Blackbeard, young Jozu are staring over at young Shanks and Buggy. They're just like, yeah, what do you want? <laughs> Buggy's trying to look cool. They don't, uh, they don't look very strong, but their attitude is quite impressive. Yeah, those Shanks and Buggy are just straight up kids, man. I, I don't know how old they are, but they're like, like seven or eight probably maybe nine I think um, hey Shanks do you see that guy with the hat yeah he didn't sleep during the truce uh, we had for the uh, last few days huh why I heard he's never slept in his life okay buggy says young teach has never slept in his life Huh? How is that even possible? I'm jealous. You would have you would have twice as much time to enjoy your life if you didn't need to sleep. It's not that simple, idiot. He's a monster. He doesn't sleep? That's random. Cause okay, we know Blackbeard has a different body. Like Marco said when he got his two when he got two devil fruits, he said he his body is different fundamentally. Like so he doesn't sleep? Okay. Can you read it? Yes, I can. I can translate it for you. But uh, why did you transcribe this? These symbols are a secret code. Uh, the way to decode them was passed from generation to generation to the firstborn of the Kozuki clan from Wano. Okay, oh, these are the Poneglyphs. Here's Roger. Uh, we took this 13 years ago. We were able to do uh, what no one else had done. Reach the end of the log pose. The island Roadstar. Roadstar? The island Roadstar. At the, the, at the end of the log pose. <clears throat> huh, okay. Uh, but when we finally got there, I realized it wasn't the last island. Okay. Our log post couldn't guide us further because the needle kept the needles kept spinning. I'm sure there's one last island. So Whitebeard is sitting with the uh, I mean Roger sitting with Whitebeard and Odin. 
Uh, it's, I see a lot of sake bottles. An island you need to reach in order to travel the whole world. A feat never done before. Oh, uh, he's got he's got a rubbing of the Ponagos, or one of the Ponagos. It has these inscriptions marked on it on four special red stones. I believe they're clues to the final island, but the world government banned uh, the deciphering of Ponagos long ago. So we're getting a lot of exposition from Roger. <laughs> We've never heard him speak this much before. I used to think uh, they were ordinary objects, so I was so I was surprised when I discovered that they were essential reference points for achieving our goal. That means the world government doesn't want anyone to reach the final island. Their actions only confirm the legends that there's a huge treasure hidden there. If we can get there, surely we'll be the biggest pirate crew in the world. The biggest? That's right. And then I'll be... <laughs> Woden and Whitebeard, what? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> what a load of crap, Roger. Are you a kid by any chance? Wow. <laughs> so back, to, this is the, the narration from Odin's journal. I was so stunned that I couldn't move. He'd already left me speechless twice. Who is this guy, anyway? Please let me borrow Odin for one year, Newgate. This is my last request. Uh, so you, I guess he, you know he knows he's not long for this world. With him by my side, I know I can get to the final island. Hey, uh, why are you deciding this by yourself? <laughs> oh, this is a surprise. What's happening? Captain Rogers uh, bowing to Whitebeard? Wow. Okay. Stop it, Captain. There are rivals. I beg you, Odin. Please sail with us for one year. Stop it! This is shameful! You shouldn't bow to me! Oh, Wiper is pissed! Quit screwing around! Do you really think I'll let you take a member of my family? <laughs> we know he's serious about his family. Uh, wow! The old man is pissed! It's Odin's journal. I can feel my blood pumping, even though I tried to hide it. What do these stones have to do with the Kozuki clan? Was this uh, meeting with Roger a mere coincidence? Whitey Chan! Before I could even think straight, I had already had my answer. I want to get uh, get to the bottom of this. Please let me go with them. <laughs> and then Whitebeard does the Odin face. Ooh. He looked disgusted. No kidding, of course I hate that idea. We're brothers, aren't we? But it's only for, uh, for a year, Whitey Chan, please. Izo, uh, Izo, uh, Nekomomushi, and Inarashi say, We'll stay here. We prefer this ship, so uh, we'll wait for you, uh, for your return here. <laughs> Vista's doing this pose like. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, sure, you've all become amazing pirates. So you're free to choose what you want to do. Ah, uh, it's a nice smile from Oda. <laughs> Whitebeard's still very pissed. Pops, aren't you going to say goodbye? Roger gave us all the treasure on his ship as a thank you. It's incredible. Uh, there's so much. And supplies, too. There are no supplies back right now, you idiot. Do you want Odin and his family to starve to death? <laughs> yes, sir. Ah, he still cares about Odin, even though he's sailing with Roger. See you soon. Don't forget to bring back some souvenirs. Wow, so here's the Oral Jackson. Odin's aboard the ship of the King of the Pirates. It was then that the second chapter of my life as a pirate had begun. The beginning of a new adventure. Whitey Chan is a great man, but Roger's un incomparable. Lucky me. Oh my god. That, I see Roger holding a baby. It's been a while since I last held a baby. So they're... Oh, okay, this is... Okay. Alright, it's not... It's not who I thought it was. Uh, but it's... Okay, okay. this is, so is Momonosuke, I guess. Or 
Or, uh, yeah, no, this is Hiori. Okay. Yeah. Rayleigh's holding Momonosuke. He's like a toddler. Roger's holding baby Hiori. So it's been a while since I held a baby. And so their names are Momonosuke and Hiori. And Rayleigh. They remind me of my childhood. Captain Roger, we found spies. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You know, Rashi Nekomomushi. What are you doing here? So they stowed away again. We had so much fun with you, Odin-sama. Hey, the cat and dog are gone too. Those idiots. So yeah, they, they, they left Whitebeard too. You're only here because the captain needs your knowledge. Odin, we won't accept you as fast as the captain did, you hear? Okay, so Roger Pirates aren't having it. Ah, Port City. Do they have ingredients? So they come to the city. Pirates! Wait, Odin, <laughs> don't advance like that without thinking. So yeah, he's still Odin. The captain's gonna kill you. My radishes were stolen. He stole my eggs. Huh? Isn't this, uh, oh, isn't this our lawless? What? That's, uh, hmm, whatever, I don't care. Odin, Odin, so <laughs> Roger Pirates accepted him, now they're singing with him. Yeah, ha ha. Ah, let's make a toast to our time with Odin. It's Crocus. You have just one year left to live. <laughs> so Crocus tells me he only has a year to live. He's just laughing. <laughs> Odin's surprised. What? That's why I'm in a hurry. Oh, they're going up a knock-up stream. Yeah! I'm going to die. Sky, oh, okay, here's, so yeah, we knew they went to Skypea, or Sky Island. Oh, no, Skypea, because, yeah. So there's, Sky, we're seeing Skypea in Odin's flashback with the Roger Pirates. This world is huge. It truly is endless. So yeah, they're all shocked to see a Sky Island. To think that there are people living in the sky. Unbelievable. I found it. And there's the beanstalk. It's over here. Wow, a bell made of gold. How are we gonna uh, take this to? Uh, how are we gonna take this to Captain? So yeah, they found the golden bell. Um, you could uh, you could come back when you're a Captain Buggy. I have no time for this. What? Let's at least take a piece or two. The stone has quite a voice, so it was easy to find. Does she uh, happen to say something about uh, incredibly power, incredible power? Information about a weapon called Poseidon is written here. Oh, okay. So the Poneglyph of Skype was talking about uh, Poseidon. Okay. So yeah, here's a theory that a lot of people had where Odin was able to inscribe what Roger's uh, message was into the Poneglyph in Skype uh, so, yeah, somehow the Kozuki clan just have an innate talent for carving bodegos. I've come here and will lead this passage to the farthest ends of the world. So, yeah, that's that's the message he left that, that Luffy read. Or, I think it was uh, Robin, but the message Roger left on the Poneglyph in Skypea. Like this? Good work, Odin. I'm going to the end. Of, uh, I'm going to the end, Roger. The goal for which you uh, risked your life, the final chapter of this year. I, I mean, uh, the final chapter of your great adventure. Revelation after revelation. That's the chapter. Whoo. Okay. Well, if that is the last chapter of the year, old uh, certainly went out with a bang. Holy shit. We got to see Roger and Whitebeard fighting. We got to see Scopper Gabon. He uses axes. We got to see, we got to see the Roger Pirates take Odin into the crew. We got to see him go <laughs> to Skypea. We got to see how Roger's message got etched into the Poneglyph. 
Oh my god, man, it's just, this, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that's how you end the year, man. It has been quite a year, 2019. It has been quite the year for One Piece, and I'm really looking forward to 2020 to see uh, see it all continue. Here's to some more years of One Piece. This is Pirate Style G2 signing out. And, uh... Well, I can't think of anything to say because my mind is just blown. Holy shit, this chapter.